Thank you. Hello, sir. What's up? Anderson, good to see you. Good to see you. Dave Roth, Anderson, how do you do? Hi, Dave. It's my pleasure. 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 How's it so, going? How you doing? Jim. Hi, Jim. in there. How are you? Guys? How are you? Good. good, good, good. We're on the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. We're, we're in the presence of royalty here. Where are you from, Anderson? Where do you come from? Uh, Brazil. Brazil? Where yep. in Brazil? Um, the park. And I was born in Sao Paulo, but I live now in, in L.A. Why, why did you uh, move to Los Angeles? Uh, for a long time, because uh, the, my manager is Ed Suarez, living in L.A., and... My business in LA. I have my 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 school in LA. What's the name of your school in Los Angeles? Uh, Muay Thai College. Muay Thai College is that your yeah. first? Was that your first sport? Muay Thai. Yeah, yeah. This and, is, uh, taekwondo and Muay Thai. What? How old were you when you first started Taekwondo? Oh, long time. It's eight, eight. It's popular in Brazil. Yeah. Is it, which is more popular, karate styles or oh, Muay Thai or Jiu Jitsu? Jiu Jitsu is the yes. number one, eh? Yeah. When did yeah. you start that? Uh, start when you were a kid. Time for yeah, yeah. And and have you always known about mixed martial arts? <laughs> yeah. It's always familiar because there was a time when that did not exist. In the United States, how long has mixed martial arts been? It's been here for a while, but it became popular, I think, with uh, with Hoist Gracie after uh, in, in the Ultimate Fighting is when when we yeah. in the U.S. kind of became aware of it was watching this small Gracie beat up three hundred pound guys and and yeah. tap out three hundred pound guys. But when did the legendary, you know, the, the Gracies yeah. Yeah. was that what attracted you to it? Was the fact that a, 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 a smaller guy could could beat somebody of a greater physical strength, or what brought you to mixed martial arts? Um, what did you say? What What made you go to like uh, from um, a Muay Thai to mixed martial arts? Oh, uh, because uh, I training hard and I watching the fight, the Roy, uh, the uh, his, uh, um, Hoist Gracie, yeah. and my friends training Jiu Jitsu and talk to me. Hey, look. This is Royce Grace fight. It's, it's good. This is the ultimate fight. But I training is normal. One day my 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 teacher talked to me, "Hey, you ready for the MMA fight?" And, no, this is danger. I know training MMA, but I train I I I start the training the Jiu Jitsu, the Nova Neon in Curitiba. And Were you scared of it when you first started it? Because you thought yeah. it was dangerous? Yeah. And my first fight in the, the city is the Cuiabá, Corumbá in Brazil. Now, we're, we're at a point now with Anderson, and if you, for those of you who follow UFC, you are, you're, for the first time in a long time, you're the ex-champion of, uh, of the middleweight division. And uh, it was, I was at the fight, and it was... It was a very shocking thing to see. Um, what, what did you feel when you woke up on the canvas? Because for you, that's not something that happens very often. Uh, no, too much. It's the, it's, it's normal. It's fight is fight. In you have the, the moment magic, and you have the chance for, no, not come out. You, you opponent. And you open it, knock them all you, but it's normal. I back the December for the next for the fight. rematch. Yeah, and it's the twenty eighth to, to promote the rematch. UFC one sixty eight is Saturday, uh, December twenty eighth. That's uh, of course uh, Chris Weidman, who's now the champion, uh, versus Anderson, and uh, I think that's in Vegas. Yeah, in Vegas. It is in Vegas. <clears throat> and uh, at first you said no rematch. The first thing you said was you didn't want to fight Chris again. What changed? Uh, the first the first time I, I signed the the new contract, Dana talked to me, you fight uh, uh, for Chris Weidman, you win, or Chris win, you have the rematch, all right? All right, but... The first time they finished the fighting in the, the, the my fight the Chris Weidman, I'm tired in the 
no no too much happy and talked oh I know more fight for the belt but I fight but no more for the belt but then I talked to me hey what happened this is normal let's go do you feel you because you're you know do you feel you lost giving it your best fight because it, it was you were taunting him do you feel like you lost giving it your best or do you feel like he, like you didn't want to lose that way uh, I train hard for for win all the time but sometimes you know have too much chance for for uh, uh, for win the Chris Weidman uh, is the the very 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 uh, strategy and uh, you focus straight and Let's see. Sometimes, sometimes the you have the good working. Sometimes bad working. Well, no, you train hard for the fight. You were in shape to fight. You were ready to fight. Yeah. But I mean, in the moment, like in that moment when he tagged you and and you went down, were were you were you in a moment like you wish you could take that back and have been fighting harder because it, it didn't feel like you were giving your ability in that moment. It felt like, you know, because you're such a great fighter, that he caught you kind of in, in a moment where you shouldn't have been in that moment. Does that make any sense? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, I, I don't remember too much because for me is the, is the finish. Is the, I have the next story now. Is the December 10th, I have the new story for Anderson. Uh, sometimes you have good, good, good night in the fight. Sometimes bad night in the fight. But I'm happy because I'm complete fight now. I'm complete attack now because uh, this is the new experience for me. It's knock, knock them out. I, it's a new experience for you. <clears throat> Does it feel odd or or different to be hungry again to get the belt back? Because it's you, you, you had the most uh, title defenses, I think, in, in a row. Is it hard to stay hungry? We talked about that before, staying hungry. Is it hard to stay hungry, your 10th defense, as it was your first defense? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm very excited because I have the chance, I have the new chance for, for change my, my, my story one more time. Is uh, the fight for the first fight for Chris Weidman is very important for my legacy. Is the second fight is the more and more important because in the December is the new Anderson's coming because I'm more complete. I'm ready for for the the new fight because. I'm more complete now because you're you're occasionally you're it's interesting to watch you because you can you can strike at will you 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 throw so fast and you kick so fast and then sometimes you 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 put your hands down and you hit your chest and you you taunt the other guy is that part of your your fight game is is to get into their head and frustrate them yeah, and get them to make mistakes Yeah this is part of my game this is the for me it's normal I know no, 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 put in this because uh, don't don't respect my opponents. I respect my opponents, but this is my strategy. It's it's it's, your, it's not a lack of respect for the opponent. It's a part of getting him to make a mistake because he's so yes. pissed off at you. Yes, and it does work. Yeah, in the United States, sometimes working. <laughs> yeah, sometimes working. Yeah, other times maybe not. In the United States. <laughs> What we celebrate the most is when an athlete wins, then he loses, and he gets it back. That's why Muhammad Ali is yeah. so popular. Three times. Lost it, got it back. Just like real life. My life is happy, then it's shit, then it's great. Then it's shit. <laughs> then it's lunchtime. <laughs> yeah, this is this is normal. Win, lose, win, lose. We we love to see that. And you will not be considered a super fighter until you have lost and won it back. Because yeah, that is more yeah, of what, it's do, normal. Do you agree with this? It's normal. This is the the 
the real this life. This is your opportunity. Yeah, because I'm normal guy. I'm no superhero. I'm normal guy. Sometimes win, sometimes no win. Sometimes you go for the normal life. You go for the working. You work in your job, no, no good. Sometimes good. This is normal. Yeah. In the in the first round, was there a moment? It looked like Chris got you down, and was going. I think was it for a heel hook he was trying to get on. Yeah. W were you worried in that first round because he he's a very good wrestler, and people said that he was going to try to to get you on the ground and tap you. And in that first round, I'm like, oh, he, he's got he's yeah, got. Yeah, I'm black belt jujitsu. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm black, man. I'm black. Man. <laughs> so you're not worried about his wrestling? Yeah, the Chris is good wrestling and the good jiu-jitsu training is good jiu-jitsu for uh, uh, the Gracie uh, Academy. But I train hard. I train in wrestling in my academy and... I train Jiu-Jitsu for Nogueira Brothers and Ramon Lemos, the Atos Jiu-Jitsu. I'm I'm very very happy for Chris giving me the chance for 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 the new fight. Um, Do you have a strength coach? Do you have a, a special coach for strength training yes, and diet? Yes, yeah. Explain to yeah, us what I you have. have. What do you I have? have. Uh, the uh, Rogério Camões is the my coach for for ten years. Is the my body my my body training and uh, um, my cardio? And does he help with the food too? With yes. The, what did yes. you What did you have for breakfast today? Oh, and today is day off. <laughs> I, I I I I I talk to my friends now. Hey, come on, it's normal breakfast, American breakfast, please. The guys talk to me. Hey. You need to take your focus because in 10 more years you stand back for training. All right. Okay. What's an American <laughs> breakfast, though? That's a good question. What's a, what's a good breakfast, like a fun breakfast oh, on a day off? Orange juice, the eggs and bacon and fruits. I love it. How about a regular training day breakfast? Oh, um, no too much is the eggs and little fruits and protein that's it no 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 bacon nothing no sugar no orange nothing. juice um so you have you really started training for this next fight now or do you start in 10 days i back yeah for training. how how long before a fight do you start how many weeks before a fight oh uh, three four four weeks month a month yeah about a month before is when you yeah. really get serious. And then what do you go up until like the week of? Yep. This is going to be, this is probably going to be the, the biggest fight in UFC history before this was the second fight with Anderson and Chael Sonnen, which the first fight was very tough for you. You had an injury and uh, you, you, you tapped Chael in round uh, five. Uh, and, and then the second fight, second round win. This is, I think, the biggest fight in UFC history is this yeah. rematch between you and Chris Weidman. Uh, I want to see this more than I want to see Silva Jones, and that's a fight I really want to see is you, John Jones. <laughs> and John Jones was very upset when you lost maybe that fight, one believe day, me. One day, maybe. <laughs> but you, you want to get through this one. Yeah, I take my fox now for, for, for my rematch, and I finish my rematch, I talk to Dana for... For the the future in UFC, how much do you walk? What what weight do you walk around at? Because you're 185 when you fight, but you can you know 205 is light heavyweight. What, what weight do you walk around at? Um, 188, 189. Oh, you walk around at fighting weight? Yeah, sometimes uh, 205. Okay, I walk around at about <laughs> probably 145. Well, I'm trying to get down Jim, to 130. You know your way around the fight game, man. Well, You're it, pretty well up on all of this. It's from just watching these guys. You know what I mean? Because I I do a little ab work. Um, you know, nothing like <laughs> these guys do. A little bit of cardio. Do you do interval training? I just started doing interval training. <laughs> well, that's the response that deserved. He laughed one, at me. One long interval between the training sessions. Huh? Yeah. yeah. No, Why don't I'll you do... ask him if he does hot yoga while yeah. you're at it? I've tried hot yoga. I know I, you. I, have. I, 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 I couldn't yeah, do it. Yoga's good. 
You, yeah. Can you do hot yoga like the? Uh, the big, I can't do it. Like Bikram. yeah, I talked yeah. the mom to my wife. Hey, you need to practice yoga for her legs, please. <laughs> oh, you get your wife to do it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you do it or you don't? No. Uh, <laughs> he, he yeah. he, all right. He's basically it's a saying that. Well, well, we yeah, used that's to call, <laughs> we yeah. used to call it stretching and warming up. Now yeah. it's called yoga and Pilates. You know. But <laughs> how far do you run? Because I can't go very far. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> I don't like to run. No, I don't need it. It sucks. Yeah, it's too much. So what do you, so what do, you do for cardio? Uh, I train in uh, the, um, the, the specific training and the, the regular training and the academy. I go for the pool. Oh, the pool? Yeah. But running, I don't run it too much because uh, sometimes uh, it's different, you know, for training. I, I prefer the, the, the real training for for MMA and uh, so you fight basically just fight every day yeah that's what your training is yeah. is you fight you don't like a whole lot of the of the jogging or you don't oh. like yoga or any of the out ballet or any of the other stuff <laughs> there are, <laughs> but there are guys that have said they took ballet who are in the fight game that what, what boxers have taken ballet because they said it helps with the with the foot movement yeah I trained in ballet for the for a long time oh you did yeah my mom put him in, in, in ballet but for a long time ago and that, did that help the with kids, your yeah with your foot movement yeah. Now you seem to really like kicking people. Um, <laughs> I, I, I was watching your face. It, it was in the it was in the Weidman fight in in round two, and your your arms were down, and you were throwing just very angry, like really precise uh, leg kicks. And it seems like you like to do that to almost punish somebody when you're not even trying to knock them out. It seemed like there was something you just enjoy being able to kick somebody at will. Yeah, I train hard my kicks. <laughs> you train to make your kicks yeah. hard. Yeah, yeah. This is normal. It's the the part, the technique, the Muay Thai technique, and I train hard. Are your shins tough? Because don't Muay Thai guys kick? Uh, tree? Is that a rumor? Like they say that the shins of a of a, a Muay Thai fighter they kick like tree bark and they kick wood to make their shins. Is that true or is that bullshit? No, <laughs> this is not real. Oh, it's not real. <laughs> no. So how do you toughen up your shins and get scar tissue on your oh, shin? It's the uh, the normal pad. You kick the pad. You train in the protecting the you your leg, but this is no real. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm just watching too many movies. No. Hey, Jim, have you ever done martial arts? Have no. you ever taken a class? Or no. Have you ever done boxing no. or anything no. like that? I hit the heavy bag by myself, uh, but it makes my knuckles sore, so I stopped doing that because <laughs> I, I have very delicate hands, and it would really bother me. So yeah, I, Me too. You do, really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm oh, joking. okay, okay. I'm like, no, I Jim, you, you'd be good at it, man. You're feisty. You got the energy for this. Now, my cardio is not good, though. I can't do good cardio. Like, I do the I do the elliptical machine, for, and you could try this. It helps a little bit. I do 30 <laughs> seconds really hard, and then 30 seconds relax. 30 seconds really hard, and then 30, 30 seconds. seconds relax. And I do that for about three minutes. Yeah, and the sports is very important. Your practice sports is very important. It's, it's, it's very important for your family, for your kids. Sports is very good. Do you play golf? A lot of hardcore athletes play no, golf. No, I don't play golf because uh, I don't have too much technique for for play. What do you do? What What other sports do you play to relax? Because there's always something guys uh, do. I love paintball. Paintball? Yeah, I love it. I love. It. And sometimes I play the football. Do you mean Brazilian soccer or football. American football? Soccer. Okay. Soccer. Are you good at paintball? Yeah, I love I, it. I played it one time, and I got those <laughs> things hurt when you get hit outside the pad with a paintball. <laughs> yeah. That, I mean, maybe they don't hurt you, but they were very uncomfortable for me. I didn't care for paintball. Well, you at can all. adjust the pressure on the gun, man. You can turn <laughs> it up to 350 pounds, and it'll leave a bruise, and you know it'll convince you to learn faster. Yeah, I didn't know that. I thought I was gonna be really good at it, but I, <laughs> I really sucked at paintball. So uh, now uh, you do a whole bunch of promotion today, and then where do you train? You gonna train in L.A. or Brazil? Uh, I go for Thailand. And in <laughs> ten days, I go for, yeah, I go for the for for training in my my academy and then my grandmaster in Thailand. How and, how long will you be in Thailand? Oh, maybe one month. I need to talk to the, my team and my my master. Is it hard, Jim? You yes. should tell Anderson about your trip to Brazil. Well, I I went to Rio. Oh, uh, it was a good city. Yeah, I went three times. 
And I, um, I went to, uh, I was, I stayed on uh, in Copacabana. Oh, good. And uh, yeah, I went to a club called Help. You ever see the club uh, Help? No. Um, Jim, you should come to Thailand with me, and I'll show you some clubs. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, that's. <laughs> I, I, there was a lot of very beautiful girls. In, in, yeah. In, 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 yeah. A lot of very beautiful girls, and um, I, I think I, I had to go get penicillin. Uh, before I left, I think I might have gotten a, a little bit of a cold or something while I was there. So really, I know her. Yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed venereal, it very much. Venereal Denise. Yeah, yeah. I've never been to Thailand, though. Uh, uh, you know. Sounds like you're just right. Yeah, I think so. But you don't get into, you know, you're a, you're a family guy. And, you know, yeah, I, yeah. Was that, let me ask because I remember after the Chael Sonnen fight, your, your kids were, came out with you on the... And they, it was very emotional yeah. for you. It seemed like... The, my kids, and, uh, my son and my nephew go for the, the, the fight. It seemed like that second win over Chael meant a lot to you. And, and you seemed more emotional than I had seen you. Because he had been taunting you all the way up. And that fight was really important. Does this fight feel like the same kind of urgency that you felt in that fight? Because you really wanted to beat Chael Sonnen. And you did. <laughs> And yeah, it's the, it's the, I training hard for the 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 fight for for um, uh, Wyman Chael. Oh, okay. and it's the great fight for the story. And uh, for me, it's the great moment. My sons is coming to give him the congratulations inside the octagon, and this is good because UFC is the. No, for for sports for the specific people is the all the people for kids for family. It's good. I'm very happy. Well, a lot of people <clears throat> call you the greatest mixed martial artist of all time. I mean, uh, you're certainly the most uh, prolific uh, title defender in the UFC. And I was really bummed that you lost. And uh, I hope that you win this next fight. I'm a big fan. And um, it's Saturday, December the 28th. It's UFC 168. It is uh, Weidman, who's now the champion, and you're fighting to get your, your belt back. And I guess we're going to see a, your, a bit more intensity in this I hope than the, than the first. Because you look prepared in the first one, just not at that one yeah. moment. Yeah, but uh, Chris Weidman is the new champion. The people need to respect to you. But this is the sport. It's normal. Is the uh, the rematch? But I respect Greece. I I train hard for for this fight, and I need to say uh, thank you, Chris Weidman. Uh, thank you, Dana and UFC and the people in the United States because I live in the United States now, and the UFC changed my life, changed the life of my kids and my wife, and. I need to say thank you for guys in the United States, for the people in the United States. And I love my job. I love my working. I love FC. I go back. All right. Well, I, uh, should we take a quick break and then, uh, and, then, and then wrap up the show? It's a little after 10. You want to do that? Uh, yeah, sure. We'll take a quick break and then we'll come back and wrap up all the plugs. And uh, UFC 168, it is Saturday, December 28th. Uh, the great Anderson Silva. I, I love you and I, I hope that you uh, thank win you. this Thank fight. you. Thank you. Good luck to you. It's a pleasure thank meeting you. you. Yeah, thank good you. Meeting you. God bless people. Yeah.